ہاؤس بلیم رشید وان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیو سٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ دیٹ آل آف یو ویل بی فائن ٹوڈے وی ویل ڈسکس اباؤٹ اینگلس سو ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو واچ اے ویڈیو اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ وی ویل گیٹ اے بیٹر آئیڈیا دیٹ وٹ آر اینگلس اینڈ وٹ آر دیئر ٹائپس سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ گڈ مارننگ کڈس ٹوڈے لیٹس ریوائز what we already know about angles some basic points about angles are an angle is formed by two rays that have a common end point so here q is the common end point of ray qp and ray qr here the common end point q is called the vertex of the angle the two rays qp and qr are called the arms of the angle when naming the angle the vertex is always written in the middle for example angle pqr and angle rqp denote the same angle q We measure and draw an angle with the help of a protractor. We express the measurement of an angle in degrees. Now, let's revise how to measure an angle. Measure the angle LMN. Step 1. Place the central point of the protractor on the vertex M. such that the zero degrees line coincides with ray mn step 2 note that the protractor has two sets of readings we read from whichever side the ray of the angle is pointing towards here we read the scale from the zero on the right as ray mn points to the right step 3 read the degree measure that coincides with ray ml ray ml coincides with 75 degrees step 4 write the measure of angle which is equal to 75 degrees I hope students you got a better idea that how we will draw the angles so keep trying and try to learn the definition of angles and try to learn that how we will draw the angles stay safe stay healthy stay blessed allah hafiz